Chantal Horn is joining me in studio. Now, she's the world's class brand ambassador. She's just made three delicious craft cocktails for us in studio now. If you're wondering what a craft cocktail is, don't worry, she has us covered. So let's actually ask her right now. Chantal! Good day, so happy to be here. Thank yes, I'm much. so happy you're here as well. Now, we're all wondering what's a craft cocktail. We know they're delicious because we've tried them. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> um, so a craft cocktail is kind of moving away from things that are mainstream and adding different elements into your drinks, to going back to the old, taking beautiful classics, they're classics for a reason, and then twisting certain elements with them with stuff like homegrown stuff, bringing a little bit of African flavor to it, um, rooibos, think organic elements, yeah, now, small batch. Is this a trend that, I know it hasn't really hit South Africa yet, but I've heard, I, I think it has in certain circles, but yes. I've heard that it's taking the world by storm. Why do you think that is? Everybody wants to live healthier, they want to move away from fast-paced lives, we're always so incredibly busy. Um, and the trend is not only to go craft, but also to go luxury. Um, instead of like drinking normal drinks, the idea is to have something absolutely delicious to drink. Uh, we follow chefs because we go to specific restaurants because we want to go experience that mm. experience the chef gives us. We want to start creating trends where we go to specific bars for bartenders that make great drinks. That sounds amazing. Now, mm. what really interested me when I was watching you do um, your three cocktails was that a lot of the ingredients were homemade ingredients. So you yes. can actually do this at home. It's not something that can't be achieved in the comfort of your own home. You can yes, do it for home course. parties. I really want to talk about the was, was the shrub mix that you made for the first drink. Oh. It was black cherries and plum. Mm -hmm. um, do you, where do you find those recipes? Did you do make them yourself? So those recipes are age-old recipes. Mm -hmm. You're looking at shrubs started developing in the 1700s in, in England mm -hmm. and in America. Um, so those recipes have been around for ages. There's lots of literature around, literature around it. Um, but they are so easy to make. And it, it kind of gives you a little bit of a, a culinary, for the guys that are massive culinary fans, this is ingredients uh, like this in cocktails. You make at home and you give yourself like a little bit of a culinary experience at home as well. Um, super easy if you want me to quickly explain to you how yes. to do it. Seconds, okay. You kind of expose your fruits, you, 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 you cut the fruit off, you, you leave the, the, the pips and the, and the skins and you add if you had to add a cup of berries, let's say plums and black cherries mm -hmm. like I did, you would add a cup of sugar to it as well. You'd cling film it and put it into your fridge and literally what that sugar would do, would, it would be drawing all the flavor out in the next two days of that fruit. So when it's done, for that mixture that you have not made, you've got this thick, sticky, sugary kind of mass wow. that, yeah, it's delicious, it's delicious. <laughs> and then you add to it a flavored vi uh, a, a vinegar in the same quantity. So that vinegar literally absorbs and mellows the sugar and the sugar mellows the vinegar. And it, like, like you can add it to shampoos, you can add it to uh, soda if you want to and make yourself a non-alcoholic drink because um, virtuous drinks are definitely on the rise as well because mm -hmm. we're all about wellness. Um, yeah, and it just adds a completely different dimension to your drinks. Now, I think some people who are watching this are maybe thinking, that sounds like it takes... So difficult. Yeah, it, it sounds it's not. It, like it's so difficult, it takes so long. I'd rather just maybe buy like a ready to drink something or whatever. Um, You'll notice that some supermarkets are actually introducing that in their portfolio, where they actually like go to the baking section. Baking section, you'll quite often find vanilla syrups, um, plain syrups, there's sometimes some caramel syrup. So, yeah, definitely check out your supermarkets.